You've got a carpet of brews that you don't know what to do What to mix with what, what to put in where There's no need to fret because there's someone here to help you He's not just a man, he's an idiot too The cocktail idiot, yes it's the cocktail idiot It's cocktail time with your host, me, John T, the cocktail idiot, and the camera lady, George. Oh no, we did it wrong. <laughs> and the camera lady, Georgie. This must be really annoying for everyone. Okay, right let's now. move on. So today we're going to be making the world famous, the world renowned, the world classic, the tequila sunrise. But wait. Don't forget the most important thing before we make the drink, before we do history time, to like, comment, and subscribe. Now I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of the other guy. Yes! So, for the tequila sunrise, you only need three glorious ingredients. You're going to need, obviously, tequila. You are then going to need orange juice. And then you need grenadine, preferably a better quality grenadine than the disgusting syrupy rubbish I have on this bar. That's what we're going to work with. So, this one's really easy. All you're going to do is build it in the glass. Wow, oh, that's a dirty glass, isn't it? Don't tell them that. <laughs> Where's the clean one gone? I haven't got a clean one. Oh, we only have two glasses. Yes. Right. Oh well. Right, so, you're going to need some ice. In that goes. Shall I see if I can do the back of the hand? Nope. Ready? Yeah. Cut. Right. So you're going to take your tequila. Tequila. Da -dun -da 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 -da. It's the best karaoke um, tune to what for that. Tequila! <laughs> Even Georgie's not laughing. <laughs> right, <laughs> so you need 50 ml of your tequila. In that goes. Don't know why I put that down there. Put that up there. And then, a little bit more ice. So you could shake these two ingredients together if you really wanted to. But if your orange juice is chilled, there's no real need. So, pour that in there. Glug, 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 glug. About, I don't know how much that is. Oh. I'll put it in the description below. Or it will appear on the screen. Give it a little stir. Mix your tequila and orange juice together. And then fill the sunrise bit. Could fool anyone, that's a nice chilled glass of orange juice. Exactly. Right, so you're just going to drop a little bit of this in, let it sink to the bottom, depending how sweet you like it, depends how much you put in. Then just give it a little stir just to get the sunrise going. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel that's dangerous territories. There we go, <laughs> and there's your sunrise. Boom. Right, then obviously you need a garnish. So you're going to use an orange. And I'm going to do the classic, the classic garnish of cherry and orange. Don't get any green lime. Surely you can put every tropical fruit under the sun in this. Exactly. Go crazy. Do whatever you like. But all I've got is orange and cherry today. I can see a lime. You want a lime on it, do you? <laughs> no, 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 this, this is me having fun decorating glasses. You want a wheel of lime as well? Yes. Right. Ta-da! 
<laughs> and then straw and a stirrer. Goes in there. Then that. Boom! And there we have one Tequila Sunrise! It's history time! Yes, the excitement is tremendous. Or not. <laughs> so, the Tequila Sunrise. Actually, there's an original Tequila Sunrise, which is different to this drink, and that dates all the way back to 1930s. And it was created by a bartender called Gene Sullet when he was working at the Arizona Biltmore Hotel in Phoenix. Now, I will do a video on this one, I think, because it seems like an interesting drink, and I will stick it up there when I do finally do it. And that's where you'll find further history on this bit of the cocktail. So we're gonna then jump forward in time and look at this little bad boy. And this came about in the early 1970s and this was supposedly created by two bartenders called Bobby Lozoff and Billy Rice. And they were working at the Trident, uh, Tr Trident, Trident, blah, blah, Trident Bar in California. <laughs> Georgie's making faces at me now. <laughs> I am making faces. <laughs> so, I'm not too sure how exactly the cocktail came about, but they've definitely taken the original one and just twisted the ingredients a little bit. But the reason why this cocktail is so popular worldwide is because of a very small band called the Rolling Stones. So the story goes that they were, pro they were doing their um, promotion for the 1972 tour and Billy Graham, who was the promoter for the band at the time, either organised a party or um, took him to the Trident Bar. Either way, they met Bobby and Billy and they made them a Tequila Sunrise, which Mick Jagger liked so much, he then went the rest of the tour, whenever they went in a bar or after show parties or all that sort of stuff, he'd get them to make him a Tequila Sunrise. And hence the name of the tour ended up being known as the Cocaine a tequila sunrise tour. In this video we're just looking at the tequila sunrise part <laughs> before anyone gets concerned. And obviously that sort of took the drink around America. But it wasn't just that which helped it on its journey to success because in 1973 the, uh, the, the what's that called? Tequila. Tequila. The tequila company um, Jose Cuero also put the recipe for it on the back of their bottles. So then obviously whenever someone bought one of their bottles, they'd be like, oh, what's this concoction? Oh, look, it's a tequila sunrise. I don't want to be rude, but You're at going what to be. point do people think they need the ingredient list and the instruction to make a tequila sunrise? Because it was a new cocktail. They were. But it's juice, grenadine ice. Exactly. Most people have it ready in their cupboard. <laughs> so you need. Um, now you've distracted history time. Yeah, I was very sorry, sorry. They, they, they put it on the packaging, yeah. Yes, and then also the Eagles in the same year also released a, uh, a song called Tequila Sunrise. Tequila? No, not that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it, but <laughs> that also helped its case to just becoming a really well-known mainstream drink that everyone knows is incredibly sweet but still amazingly popular. Yeah. And that is the end of history time, which means it's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.